problems, you have that calm. Is the minister aware of what's going on? Is the government aware? Are you receiving the necessary support? I think here, because you say this, uh, it's an like emblematic project for 2019, so we ask that you support it. I'm going to. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't spend much time on it. It is a concern, I'm just being perfectly honest. And uh, for those who know, or don't know, I mean, the first day we, we started the mine for the construction, we had an issue. I think what I'll say is the minister who's not here, and uh, the president, and, and actually all the government has been extremely supportive, uh, beyond my expectations. And on top of that, the, uh, the new uh, governor here in Mecagua, as well as Takna being here is supportive. So, I believe they're very supportive of the mine and are helping us deal with some of the challenges that come with that. And uh, other two presenters, if, if you have any possible share on this issue, uh, please uh, step in. Well, I think I mentioned it during my presentation. The, the government is really, really supportive and, uh, and, and it's really facilitating the development of new projects uh, at all levels, not only the Minister of Energy and Mines and his team, but also the Ministry of Economy and Finance, the Environmental Minister. I, I, I think there is a consensus that mining is a key industry to be developed so that the country as a whole can develop. And, uh, and I think it's really important. Yeah, as many of you are aware, we are in the pre screening process for our submittal of our EIA, uh, the Sanasi. We are the first Greenfield project, mining project to go through Sanasi. And it's been, a, it's been a encouraging experience. They've been very helpful. They've been uh, giving advice and guidance. And uh, the rigorous, of course, but, uh, but if you're prepared, they, they are very good at laying out the roadmap uh, that you have to follow to do to get your food. So, that is just another example of how the government supports projects and social license is an important part of it. Okay. Another question? Okay. Good morning, Doris Hayer from Hatch. Just would like to ask if you could say briefly what's the number one obstacle you see that may stop or delay your product to move forward? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that um, everything is going in the right direction. Um, we would like more advanced time of day on the uh, question of land and, and those types of issues. Um, it just, it's, it's going, it's positive, it's going forward, it just takes longer than you would expect. Uh, you know, Peruvian, uh, from my experience, uh, Peruvian law on, on land tenure and buying and selling land is, is complicated. And, and so is the process for securing water use rights as well. It, these things are not easy. Like I said, we're, we're doing them correctly and they're going to get done, but it, it would be beneficial if it was such a um, complex process and it took so long to get actually. Because you're, you're investing large sums of money before you get what is critical to your project. And so they may not stop you, but they could slow you down. In our case, uh, as I mentioned, we're 20% into construction now, and uh, so it's all about execution. Um, I said that we're on track, thanks to most of our partners that I see around the table, but there are some other partners here that, I, that are showing some signs that they may. Uh, slow down or be a little bit delayed on their deliveries, so I urge all of them to please speed up and make sure that we get everything uh, on site, on time. That, that I think, I mean, it, that could be a, an issue. And the other thing is we, we need to secure uh, the development and the construction, the construction of the, of the uh, warehouse capacity at the Port of Pisco in order to, to ship concentrates is also, uh, or could become, uh, part of the creative path of the project. I think from our, our side, it's again around the social side from us, and someone using the project as an example of, you know, trying to make a name for themselves at the end of the day by trying to slow us down or shut us down. That's, that's the thing that keeps me up at night, to be perfectly honest. Okay, well, uh, I'm told we 
are out of time, so I'd like to uh, thank our presenters, uh, Tom McCulley, Luis Ruger, Bruce Turner, for this wonderful presentations and a great discussion. Uh, please a round of applause. For you folks, we are having a coffee break for 25 minutes. We'll get back to you.